Hey, what's up guys? It's Willie from Tilt, and I'm here to bring you guys a brand new rider's guide. Today, we're gonna be talking about something really cool. Let me show you what that thing is. We got wheels. Right here, we have four different styles of wheels. Right here, inside of the box, which we'll unbox in a moment, we have the full core 120 millimeter by 30 millimeter wheels. Then next to it, we have the 110 by 24 millimeter wide full core wheels. Moving over, we have the 120 by 30 millimeter spoked wheels. And finally, we have the 110 by 24 millimeter standard Durer wheel right here. All four of these models have consistent branding and design to make them all part of the same family. So there's something really special about these wheels that I wanna show you guys. And that special thing is this undercut down here. I'll talk about that in a moment though. First, let's talk about the packaging. So I'm not really sure how your package is gonna look when it shows up or if you go to a scooter shop and buy it, but I know for sure is that it's gonna come inside of this box right here. So let's open it up. The wheels are sold as pairs, and I can't forget that every single pair of tilt wheels, to rare or not, come with a tilt sticker. Before we go too far into it, I really wanna talk about this packaging really quick because this packaging is really awesome. Like I genuinely think this package is so cool. So right here I have the exact same packaging except I've undone it all of the way. And I just wanted to show you guys something really cool about this. When you put the packaging flat, you can see that it's actually a spoked wheel. And that is the graphic of this package. Something else that I think makes this product so unique about the packaging is because when it's folded into a box like this, you can see that the lines on the top perfectly match up with the lines on this edge. And also, it wraps around and the graphic is just seamless all the way around. But undo the hinges and you lay it completely flat, the packaging is still 100% flush. And it, it I, I think it's crazy. I don't know how they did it. All I'm trying to say is, I just really like this packaging and I think that Mike did a great job with it. Let's talk about the design of these wheels. These wheels were designed with a purpose in mind. And there's a very specific purpose that these wheels are going out to try to achieve and that is to be an all around great scooter wheel. This isn't meant to be a park wheel. This isn't meant to be a street wheel. This is meant to be an all around scooter wheel that anyone can ride. Shops and riders alike need a wheel that they can count on and this is the wheel. These wheels honestly took a while to ramp into production, and we just started with this 30 millimeter by 120 millimeter spoked. But now, we have four different types of wheels that are in the Durer family line. We have the 120 millimeter by 30 millimeter spoked. We have the 120 millimeter by 30 millimeter full core. We have the 24 by 110 millimeter full core. And we also have the 110 millimeter by 24 millimeter spoked wheel. Now you have two different choices of what kind of core you want and what size wheel you want. So you have all the options. You're probably wondering to yourself, why are they all black on black? The reason that they're black on black is because honestly, a black on black wheel is the easiest colored wheel to match to any scooter. Like I keep saying, this wheel is meant for everyone. This is not a specific wheel. And we wanna make this wheel look good on any scooter. And black on black is just the easiest option because that's probably the most common color on any one scooter. There's something really special about these wheels that I mentioned earlier in the video. And that's this undercut right here. This undercut has one purpose, and that purpose is to save you weight. You'll really notice it on the 30 millimeter by 120 millimeter wheels, but they also are included on the 110 millimeter by 24 millimeter wide wheels, spoked and full core. The cores look phenomenal, but let's talk about the urethane. This urethane is also designed to be an all around performer. The hardness of this urethane is 86A, but that's just one aspect of these wheels. These wheels also have amazing rebound and great grip and durability. With urethane, it's always a balance between three things, hardness, durability, and rebound. With these wheels, we didn't specialize in one special aspect. We didn't make these wheels specialized for a niche. These wheels are meant to be all around performers. So those three aspects have been equally balanced to give you a perfectly proportioned wheel. We made sure these wheels are solid for any terrain. So we've talked about the core and the undercut and how it's saving you weight. We talked about how the urethane is very well balanced, but there's still one more aspect to this wheel that I cannot forget. If you guys have ridden tilt bearings in the past and enjoyed them, well, I have some good news for you. These right here are improved tilt bearings. These bearings come pre-greased, not pre-oiled, and the spacer inside is precision ground steel. 
Have you guys ever been tightening your back wheel and want to make it as dialed as possible, but when you go to spin your wheel, it's just stopped? Well, the spacer inside will make sure that that will never happen to your wheels ever. These wheels will have your back. Let's talk about some specifications about these wheels. Like I said previously, the wheel hardness is 86A, and there's an undercut in here to really save you weight. Let's talk about specifically how much weight though. I'm gonna be talking about these weights in pairs, not single wheels, but the wheels together. The first weight that I'm gonna talk about is the 110 by 24 millimeter spoked wheels. These wheels weigh exactly 15.7 ounces, and the full cord versions weigh only one ounce more at 16.7 ounces. The 24 by 30 millimeter wheels are gonna be a little bit heavier, but that's just because they're bigger. The spoked version weighs 21.3 ounces as the pair, and the full cord version weighs 22.6 ounces per pair. All of the weights that I just gave you are including the pre-installed bearings and bearing spacers. Let's talk about how compatible you are with these wheels. All of the wheels in front of me right now use 608 bearings. What that means is that you'll need an M8 axle to run these wheels. If you're nervous what an M8 axle is, pretty much every single scooter wheel uses an M8 axle except for 12 standard. If you guys didn't know, the standard size scooter wheel is 24 by 110 millimeters. These wheels right here are also 24 by 110 millimeter and will pretty much fit on any single deck and fork you try to fit it on. You wanna be a little bit more careful though when you're stepping it up to the bigger wheels. From tilt, all decks will work with these wheels and you just have to take out some spacers in order for them to fit. With the fork, it gets a little bit more tricky. You're gonna have to buy a fork or use a tilt fork that's compatible with 30 millimeter wide wheels in order to run these. Not every single scooter fork can fit these big wheels, so make sure that your fork can fit 30 millimeter wide wheels. If your fork can fit 30 millimeter wide wheels, chances are it can fit 120, and I wouldn't stress about the 120 millimeter aspect of it, more just the 30 millimeter width. If you guys are curious what tilt fork you wanna run with these wheels, I would recommend the tilt rigid fork. I personally ride the tilt rigid fork and I really like it. And one reason I really like it is because of how well these wheels fit onto that fork. These wheels were designed with the intention to be used with that fork, so everything will go together flawlessly and you'll have no problems. So if you guys are sitting there watching this video and are curious on what size wheels you should ride, I don't really have a simple answer for you. There's plenty of advantages to running 30 millimeter by 120 millimeter wheels, but there's also plenty of advantages of running standard 24 by 110 millimeter wheels. It's all just personal preference. I personally ride the 30 millimeter by 120 millimeter wheels. And the reason that I ride these is because I just personally really like how they feel and I like having a bigger wheel. When you have more urethane on your wheel, you will have a little bit more traction when you're going around corners and you'll have, in my opinion, just a little bit more control of your scooter. Although, there's plenty of advantages to running the smaller wheels. With the smaller wheels, you're gonna have a little bit more of a responsive wheel and you're gonna be a little bit lower to the ground. 50-50s are gonna be a little bit easier, but wait a second, 50-50s are like my favorite trick. I love 50-50s and I run these wheels. It's really hard for me to tell you exactly which wheel you guys should run, but fortunately we have basically identical wheels and both sizes. So if you really wanted to try both, we got you guys covered. I can't just tell you an, an, an easy answer of what your personal preference is gonna be. You really just have to try both. Let's talk about the price of these wheels. The 30 by 120 millimeter full court and spoked will cost you $90 USD and the 110 by 24 millimeters in spoked and full core will cost you $85. These prices might vary depending on what country you live in. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you learned something about the Durer wheels. Like I keep saying in this video, this wheel is designed to be an all around great scooter wheel, not specifically for one type of riding, but for everyone. If you guys wanna get these wheels, I'd recommend going to your local scooter shop and walking inside and saying, hey, local scooter shop owner, I want the new stage three tilt Durer wheels. And you know what? They're gonna go on the website and they're gonna order them and boom bada bing, you're gonna have some wheels. But if going to a scooter shop is just not an option for you, if you if you live in somewhere where a scooter shop just doesn't exist, head over to tiltlife.com and you can pick up these wheels today. All right guys, well, if you have any remaining questions about these wheels or anything that you just want me to talk about or just to touch on, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you in a timely manner. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you learned something. Make sure to follow Tilt on Instagram at Tilt Life. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at White Trash Willie. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next Rider's Guide. Peace out.